Good afternoon boys. For our drill today, we need five cones in a line about two and a half meters apart. Two balls which are placed next to each uh, next to the center cone. And now we want to watch Coach Don do the drill. He collects one ball, pushes it to the first cone, takes the second ball, ball to the other side, first ball to the furthest cone, returns to the second ball which he pushes to the furthest cone and returns to the first ball that he had to the nearest one and does the same on the other side and returning all the balls to the center. Now let's watch TK do that drill as well. Please note when you are pushing the ball to keep your eyes down keep your head down so you have full control and keep the ball right next to the stick so this drill is going over some of the stuff that we did during the term in other drills best of luck boys Let's watch Coach Don do the drill. So he shuffles in and out, grabs the ball round the first cone, second cone which is diagonal, pushes it to the two, switches to the right round the cone and does the drill over again. Four cones, two on your right which are which will be about a meter apart, then you have two and a half meters and have another two which are a meter apart on your other side and you'll be facing a wall and you stand between the two sets of cones let's watch coach Don do this drill so he pushes to the first one the second one on his left pushes it to the wall then he goes to the right nearest one furthest one drags it all the way to the center and pushes it against the wall so when you're coming from the furthest cone on either side you drag it back to the center and push to the wall notice his feet and how he stands this drill we need two cones about a meter and a half apart you stand in the middle between the two cones this drill is to work and to help us to control the ball in close contact where you're not going too far away trying to dribble around someone we need to make sure that you keep your head down feet slightly apart your grip at the top of the stick and at the end of your grip just before the end of the grip if you notice if you notice he drags it to the first cone on the left dribbles switching the angle of the stick around the cone same thing on the left drags it wide a few taps rotating the grip on his stick let's give it a go gentlemen <laughs> 